leaves us with the last one, Pamela. Pamela's been around for a long time. I think Vodburner and Pamela for Skype are a couple of the oldest programs out there. Open up Pamela. Continue the trial. Now, Pamela doesn't do uh, two screens. It doesn't do split screen. So that's a little bit of a, a misnomer. Actually, if you go to Pamela.biz screen. Does Pamela support split screen? And the answer to that is due to the technical nature of the Skype application, the way it projects the video on your screen. Pamela is currently unable to record the two video streams inbound and outbound separately, which pretty much means no split screen. Be forewarned, it's a big old fail right from go here. That said, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, recording mode. Uh, this is a nice, slick interface. It just doesn't work. Uh, or at least not, it doesn't work for split screen stuff. And I've got style, like a pause recording, resume recording. I could end the call, all good stuff. I could schedule a call, I could do a conference call. Go ahead and hit stop, and we'll see a, a new item pop up there. I've got a number of settings. I could record the entire desktop. So I could do screen capture of the desktop while I'm recording Skype if I wanted to. But at the end of the day you want to see what this is actually recording. In the Skype call. Take a look. This is a nice interface. There's not any as you can see, it's basically just showing a uh, screencast here, even though I didn't even have that setting clicked. Wondering, I wanted to record the entire desktop. I didn't have that clicked before. It's something that I have tried, but it kind of got locked in place and I can't get rid of it now. So again, this too has a, a lot of potential. As far as I can tell, you can't actually edit the, the videos here, but you do get the uh, video and something of a picture-in-picture -picture type of deal. I think I've got that one pen, so I need to quit it.